So we're currently at a stage where where we know how to use the fundamental theorem of calculus one. We know how to use this, but we just don't understand why this works. In order for us to fully understand why this works, we spend a lot of time um, trying to understand these four concepts. Um, now we are going to use these four concepts to develop what's called the fundamental theorem of calculus two. We we would then use the fundamental theorem of calculus two to try and uh, to uh, to try and understand the fundamental theorem of calculus one. Okay, so now we're going to look at the fundamental theorem of calculus two. So um so normally we we would have our function uh, f of x um, equals equals something. But then let, let, let's just make up this something as uh, as as x to the power of three uh, plus seven x squared. Let's just make this up. It could be anything. So so normally we would have our function f of x equals something. Um, but but when it comes to the fundamental theorem of calculus two, we're going to reserve the x to mean something else. We are going to reserve this x to 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 represent this this uh, this location here, where where these locations can slide back and forth. So this x here, uh, we are going to reserve the x to represent this this vertical height that can slide back and forth. Okay, but but if if we're going to reserve um, x to represent something else. We cannot call this f of x equals something. We have to change the name. F, let's just call it something else. f of t equals um, t to the power of three plus seven t squared. So, so because because this x here is very important, um, we we're going to reserve this name x um, to we're going to use x to represent something else. But because because we are using x to represent something else, we cannot call this f of x. We have to change the name. So let, let's use a random one. Uh, let's call it t. So so this t here is called a what's called a dummy variable. We we're just going to use it and then and then throw it away. It's not important. So so suppose this number here is is let's say three. We we can still put it into here. Put it into the t here and and then this whole thing here will will jump. Will allow us to jump to the to the height here. So so basically we. We we need to so normally we would call this f of x equals something, but then because we want to reserve the the x here to mean something else, this something else here is very important. So so we're going to use x to represent something else. So because we're doing that, we're going to have to call it uh, f of t. We've got to change the name. Okay. So uh, so this here is f of t. Um, so this is a graph of t versus f of t up here. Okay. So so this x here. Uh, so, so this here is our x. It, it can slide. Uh, th this is our x here. It, it can slide back and forth here. It, it could be anywhere. It could be over here. But x slides back and forth here. So, with the fundamental theorem of calculus two, we are really looking at the area between a and x. Okay. So, so don't forget x. X could slide back and forth here. So, with the fundamental theorem, uh, the fundamental theorem of calculus two. We are concerned about um, the area between a and x. So x can slide back and forth. So um, so let, let, let's call this area here. Let's call this area here um, capital F, capital F of x. So x can x can be anywhere along here. This thing here just represents this area here. Okay. So uh, so so capital F of x equals equals. Um, uh, equals the area from a to x, uh, and then f of t, okay, f of t dt, because um, so so t t is something that changes somewhere in between here, okay. Well, well, just just know that. Uh, we'll, hang on, let's let's start again here. This here is called uh, well, this here is f of t here. We are going to reserve the x to mean something else. So this is our x here, okay. So hang on. So with the fundamental theorem of calculus two, we are really concerned about the area in here. So we are concerned about uh, let, let's just call this area f of x, capital F of x. Okay, so so capital F of x represents that area. Well, that area is really um, from a to x of of this function here, which is um, uh, which is f of t, and then we we so so dt here. So, so we 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 are just going to um, to use this to represent the area here. Well, this area here is given by this. 
Don't forget, it's from it's from A to X. Okay. Uh, this 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 is not done yet. We uh, we still this is not a full theorem. So uh, I will continue in the next video. Just bear in mind that with the fundamental theorem of calculus two, we are really concerned about the area from A to X. Well, let's just call this area capital F. Okay, uh, capital F of X. So so X can can slide back and forth here. Well, this area if if this represents the area here, then the area here can be written as this from A to X, and then the function, and then D of the function here. Okay? I'll, I'll, I will continue in the next video.